Hello and thanks so much for stopping by the download. A weekend edition for you now, sort of a break from all that hustle bustle of news. Well, we're starting today with something that just hasn't been getting the attention that it should. Now, of course, there's been a lot of coverage of late of all the hoopla ahead of Beijing's Summer Olympics. We wanted to focus on a different side of that story, namely the crackdown underway in China against, well, nearly anyone daring to criticize the government. Now, of course, this is hardly news for Wozer Tsering, a Tibetan poet and activist. Wozer is also one of the few who have dared take her criticism of Beijing public. And it's come at a price. They say I'm a threat to national security, says Wozer, who is under virtual house arrest. But as a vocal critic of Beijing's treatment of the Dalai Lama and Tibet in general, she's lucky it's only that. And it isn't just Tibet that's a forbidden topic. Human rights advocate Wu Wenchao was recently held in solitary confinement for 20 days for her activities. In that time, she says she was kept blindfolded and hooded. Human rights advocates say they're tracking thousands of similar cases, and they expect that the crackdown will only get worse as the Olympics near. Well, keeping with the theme of big things that just haven't gotten the attention that they should, here's one for you now. One of the world's most famous, or is it infamous, crime-fighting organizations has just turned 100 years old. None other than the FBI, formed 100 years ago this summer. Its very name, synonymous with busting bad guys and investigative daring do. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, of course, leapt from obscurity in the 1930s with high-profile pursuits of gangsters like John Dillinger. And they got him, too. Well, soon the G-Man became part of American culture, much like the FBI itself, and all largely the result of this man, J. Edgar Hoover, 47 years the head of the FBI, Something of a law unto himself, for good and for ill. Now, VOA's Gary Thomas has put together a top-notch report on Mr. Hoover's misuse of America's first intelligence service, notably its surveillance on citizens like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. As well, he also takes a look at how the FBI is growing and changing in a changing world. Now, you can find it all on our website, voanews.com. And also, we're going to link to it from our YouTube page. Just go to the link that's at the bottom of the screen, find today's download at our home on YouTube, and click play. We'll do all the rest. Well, lastly today, a story that we can't honestly say has not got enough attention. In fact, I can pretty much guarantee that our running it now means it's getting too much. Our last item, taking us to this park in St. Petersburg, Russia. Mm, very nice. People obviously out enjoying the trees, the lakes, and, you know, a walk with their pet. Their pet pig. Hey, out of the way. Uh, this little slab of bacon, just one of the hundreds of mini pigs that have become very popular as pets, apparently, in St. Petersburg. Exactly why eludes us. Uh, but the owners say that the pigs are at least as friendly as dogs and much smarter. Pedigreed pigs can cost as much as $1,000 U.S. Oh, but heck. How can you put a price on cute like this? Good pig. Uh, owners are even having a take your pig to work day. Hey look everybody, office pig. Okay, memo to my boss. We need an office pig. I'll call him Hammy and I'll feed him and I'll wash him and I'll take care of him. Please, 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 please. Uh, well, okay, in any event, that is your download. Have yourselves a great weekend and we'll see you again on Monday. Awesome.